You're listening to the Brenner Brothers. Two of us. For best results, use both ears. You're all lit up. You got lights on your jacket. I'm lit. <laughs> You're lit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hi. We're, it seems like only yesterday we had our first show. Huh. All those years ago. You know, seeing you in that jacket, Gene. Yeah. Reminds me of the time we, during Christmas, when we were playing under the tree and it fell on top of you. Was I the one who, I thought I escaped. Well, it caught your legs. You... Gary, Gary was under it, and your legs got caught at the top of the tree as it landed. I thought you, so what, did you make it, compl- clear it? Oh, yeah, I was out, I witnessed it. <laughs> we were, yeah. uh, we, my cousin Gary and Billy and I, we were shooting rubber bands at our little toy figures under the Christmas tree, and we <laughs> went to pick up the rubber bands, and I don't know what happened, but we all looked up, and the tree came down on us. Yeah. And my mom had a fit. Hey, look at all the people. Hi, Liana everybody. Rivera, James Carroll, Madison Mantis, Jennifer Graham, Josh Hankemeyer, Marshall Grover, Jesse Oliver, Lauren Richard. Look at them all. Hooray, thank you for Woo! being here. Thank you. All right, let's go, Gene. Celebrate got... 29 years. All right, shameless plugs real quick. Oh, yeah, GeneBeretta.com. Go there. Don't forget. <laughs> get stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> See stuff. Get stuff. Go to Jules, Jules Little Gems on YouTube. See stuff. Laugh stuff. Haven't done any new stuff, but look at the old stuff. <laughs> Enjoy stuff. Yeah. The BerettaBrothers.com. You can oh. see everything you want to know. Have, you, have any of you been checking out the uh, picture gallery and the video galleries? There's a lot of pictures in there that are fun. Mm-hmm. Some Muppet related. Some are just stuff from our lives. Yes. And listen, while you're on the YouTube page, subscribe, of course, and join the mailing list on the website because there's lots of special things you're going to get if you join that list. And if you subscribe, we're going to talk about some giveaways later in the show. Now, first of all, though, we have to remind um, Darcy Borden, you won last Darcy, week's books. where are you? I haven't heard from you. Darcy Borden. Do we put any kind of limitation on when they can claim? Do we say uh, like two weeks, maybe? Like she has until next week's show, or all right, otherwise? Let's hope. We'll, we'll hold out for her. I mean, hopefully. Come on, Darcy. Hold out a little bit. Darcy Borden. Oh, Darcy Borden. Oh, Darcy Borden. Collecting the books. Have Darcy none Borden. Borden. Oh, Darcy Borden. Should we tell them about next week's show? Sure. Next week's I show. Love it. We've got the fabulous, as we've mentioned, the fabulous Jane Gutnick and the fabulous Kevin Clash. It's a good one. We've talked to them, and we know yes. it's good. It's, <laughs> it's, it's verified. It's verified. Uh, do we have our own rating, like tomatoes for Rotten Tomatoes and all verified? Maybe someone out there can create ratings for us. I don't know. Yeah. But that would be nice. And uh, let's talk about uh, what's happening after this 10th anniversary. James Carroll says the gems are good. James Carroll says the gems are good. Thank you, Jim. Jesse Oliver says, I really enjoy Muppets now. Hey, we'll be talking about it. But go ahead, Gene. I think my my, uh, audio quality may have just improved. For some reason, it was picking up my AirPod mic. But I think I'm better now. Sorry about that. Uh, I don't know. (laughs) This is what we're going to do, folks. 
Oh my god, it sounds live. so serious. <laughs> Come on, what are you doing? <laughs> Jesus. This is what we're gonna do. Folks. Here's what's gonna happen. From now on, it's it's good news. So, prepare yourself. Come on, we're changing it up. New <laughs> approach, folks. New approach. The only time we're gonna have special live shows that are purely Q and A. And those are going to happen in the middle of the week, every two weeks. Every Wednesday, every, every two Wednesdays, we're going to have a special live Q&A. And we may bring some guests on for that Q&A. That's apart from our weekly, our weekly normal shows, which are going to be now a new show every Sunday. It's going to give us more time to put the shows together. Uh, so we're, we're on time. And so yeah. we're there for you uh, without compromising the quality of the show. So once again, every Sunday there will be a new show you'll find on our website and a link to that new show on our YouTube page. Every then, two Wednesdays, yes, every two live Q&A. And, right, and possibly, you know, maybe we'll have some, uh, some guests pop on, who knows? Maybe they'll just pop in while we're doing this sort of thing live, could be fun, you know? I like that idea. Um, you know, I, I think that'd be, oh my God. Hey, wait. Uh, Matt? Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. I just got popped in. You didn't no, get no. our email. What do you no, mean? No. no, I'm ready to go. Yeah, no, no, you no, didn't no. get our email. No, I'm I... confused. What do you what mean? You... Email. No, I got no, the email to put the Zoom and to come on now. No, 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 no. This wasn't um, it... for, not for today. This is for, this is for just maybe the time. next time. Kind of. We were just mm -hmm. saying, wouldn't it be great to have yeah, yeah, you? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I no, no. You want to talk about, <laughs> yeah. I know you wanted to mention your new podcast, right? Go ahead. What uh, is yeah, it? yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I was ready. I, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, it's hard to take time on the weekends, you know, to like be away I from know. my family and I got it <laughs> for the hour. So I'm good to go. Like, I, yeah, no, no, we I know you're messing with me. <laughs> I know that you're messing with me. No, 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 it's okay. No, we can I just swear. go. No, listen, I swear. This is, <laughs> no. I swear to you, we were not planned on having you on. We were, I meant not today, but that I was talking about like today would be an example. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't believe you. Well, well you know, that... just plug your thing because we do have it. I'm so sorry, but like, what, yeah. what's what, it called? You got, what's it, it you called? got your new podcast. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. It's, Sorry. All right. That's fine. I'll just go back to my family then. They'll be surprised. Uh, it's called uh, Below the Frame, and it is a uh, it's a podcast that is for fans of Sesame Street and Disney Muppets. And I talked to I, I talked to you, Bill. Remember that? Yes. I scheduled great. it, and and we it. actually did it on the day that I was told that you were going to do it, and mm -hmm. we, I know. we actually and did we, it and, then. And and you're a great interviewer, by the way. I was that's very, very comfortable. Nice that was nice. Well, I we, hear good things. I hear good things. I hope so. And we're gonna we're gonna premiere it on August twelfth, and uh, with three episodes. Nobody they don't know that yet. Nobody knows that yet. But I'm saying now, three episodes, first day, Bing, Bing, Boom. Oh, how cool! Wow. Do you want to yeah. say who it is yet? Who's gonna? Yeah, be sure. On it's gonna be Stephanie DeBruzzo and oh. Peter Linz and awesome. Carmen Ospar. How nice. nice! Not me though. Very cool. But so. Um... No, no, I gotta save you. <laughs> well, For way, I mean, I... way down the line. Listen, uh, honestly, like we gotta, we, we, yeah, can, we got show to do. Real, yeah, really kicking me go. off. Yes. Yeah, we got Q and A with our fans. <laughs> so listen, yeah, bye. It's gonna be nice when we see you next time. Okay. Yeah. I'll talk All to right. you. Tell bye. everybody. Tell everybody I said hi. Bye. I, whew, you know, people need to check their emails. I can't believe that. Well, but no, wait a minute. May how do we know it's them and not us? I, I, I said that the idea was, like this week, that we would, you know, if, for example, this is a live show, and that this is, you know, we'd love to have, and then he just called in. Hmm. How did he get the thing? Did you send him the link? Does he have your email, by the way, or your phone number? Because he shouldn't. No. no. Okay. I don't know. All right. Well, so what are we going to do? Let's, we're doing our show. Thanks, Matt, for jumping. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, Constantine is the man, by the way, says Mighty Film. Oh, well, yes. And many, many, many more. Uncle Deadly. Let's, the list goes on. Kermit the Frog. Kermit, Kermit, yes. Did you say Kermit, Kermit? By the way, Kermit? Kermit, 
current Kermit. Oh, current um, Kermit. Current by Kermit. the way, it Kermit. was it was such a joy to have Kermit join us on our Danny Trejo show. Yeah, that was Great awesome. Show. Yeah. All right, are we moving on? Yeah. Listen, we have we have questions and all that, but we also uh, we want to introduce you to the Fiamma Brothers, which uh, happened years and years and years ago. It's actually where Johnny Fiamma the Muppet originated in personality. Do well, not from the brothers yet, though. Yeah, but but that's where we had fun with it, and re I really got to workshop it once you came to play with me. But um, mm -hmm. it was just something I wanted to do. I was in my backyard in Long Beach, and I was trying to think of something to do. This is before dinosaurs happened. I was just trying to think of what could I do as myself? Could I go on and, you know, go to nightclubs and, and be this character that, you know, <laughs> that people didn't know? Uh, you did some I, great lip syncs to, to Sinatra songs and stuff. Yeah, I was like just trying them out. And um, so I like shaved my head, which actually I shaved my head for uh, well, crew dinosaurs. Cut. Yeah, I, I did that for the dinosaurs audition because I wanted to look like a dinosaur. And then as it was growing in is when I started to think about this guy. If I made my hair white and this older crooner, bad crooner guy named Johnny Fiamma. And then... So you came out to visit and we did that? Or did you it move was, out at that? No, no, we, I, I came out for our cousin Jolie's wedding. Oh, the wedding, that's right. And then the night after the wedding, we were just, we stayed up. I had to leave really early in the morning to catch a plane. So we just stayed up the whole night and set that's up a right. camera. That's and right. we improvised and came up with the Johnny and Frankie Fiamma. Just in the living but, room, we were just farting around. But then. Yeah, you, and then we decided to make something a little bit more polished. You, yeah. can, you can be the judge of that. Um, yeah. But so we're going to show you p that in parts throughout the course of the show. And uh, it was completely improvised. All we really did was set up the camera and say, all right, let's talk a little bit about our shows and being on the road. And then we would just take it from there uh, and yep. play off of that. Yeah. So why don't we show them like the first 10 minutes now before we get into our Q&A. So have your yeah. questions ready while we're showing things and, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, if you have questions about all kinds of stuff, if it's about the Fiamma brothers or whatever, but this again, like you said, now. Yeah. or Muppets Now, uh, but the quality of the video, you know, this is from like what, 1996 or something? 92. Oh, is it 92? So, yeah. you know, the video is old, the audio is old, so it's not great, great shape, but we thought it'd be fun to watch. Okay, here we go. Uh, we'll see you on the flip side. 10 minutes, nine minutes, something like that. Nine and a half. Yeah, weeks. Right, we ready? Yeah. Is Mike's on Everything's place. all set. We're there good? You go. Here? Yeah. Sit right there. Make yourself at home. It's like a uh, maze. Help right. him. I'm all right. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Good. Is this good here? Yep, you're looking great. Everyone else? Now, where am I looking? I'm looking at you. Yeah, I'm going to be asking you a couple of questions. Now, I know Johnny, you know. Give me one moment. Oh, okay, to take your time. What's he touching? Don't touch that. A little nervous. nervous. I'm a little nervous. It's all right. It's okay. How am I? I don't know. I feel loose. I'm okay. Huh? Yeah. Keep this shirt loose. Well, I mean, all right. They want to see you. Yeah. Going right away. Is it? Last care. Okay. Excuse me. Can you tell me where the Hudson Beer Garden is? How come you sweat more than me? It's hot. Yeah, but I'm. I'm wearing silk. Huh. As you said, Vendome is south, but Ventura is north. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way. So basically, I call my brother Frank. I say, hey, Frank, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm not too much. What? What's up? I said, I said, uh, you want to come sing with me? I'm, I'm feeling a little dry. Yeah, I'm not doing nothing this weekend. I'll, I'll, I'll try it. Give it a try. So he comes out. We set up a little number. We try to do something. Because, see, Frankie's doing, well, maybe you want to explain it, but Frankie's doing the younger crowd. Right. Frankie's doing the teen world. The uh, He's kind of a teen idol kind of mm -hmm. thing. I'm right. covering material. I'm covering, like, Michael George. I'm covering Michael George. Bo Boy George. Say George mm -hmm. Harrison. Say in your life or... Well, I see, I don't, I don't have too much control over the lyrics that, that I sing because I don't, I don't generally, you know, write the material. He doesn't write the material. We don't, we don't write our own material because we like to stay away from, uh, 
you know, having to deal with with uh, copyright and publishing right. problems that you might uh, That's inc right. incur. And plus, you know, there's an advantage to that. If you think, if somebody says they hear the song and they think, you know, that song's not very good, we, you know, we can say it's we, not our fault. Yeah, we don't, That's it's not our thing. problem. We That's, didn't write that. Yeah. That's great. You, I notice, uh, you you turn most of your songs into ballads. Well, uh, you know, I, I draw from. Uh, lovely. Thank you. Lovely. I draw from uh, you know personal experience, and. Uh, you know, uh, like somebody done somebody wrong. You know, I've had people do some some things wrong to me, and uh, so I can draw on that. I feel like, uh, well, it's a more you seem sentimental. Very sentimental, moment. yeah. As a human being, I can see that sensitivity. Excuse yeah. me, it's more sentimental than me. What I was going to say is, you know, be an Italian, you know. You, you know, when you have people over your house, you want to make them feel like, you know, it's their house, too. It's we warm. like to carry that over into our stage act, primarily. Right, and it does. We like to keep it warm. There's some sad news, I You know, know. We, we were joking. We were joking just the other night. We were saying, hey, hey, yo, hey, hey, let's take this a little bit further. Let's cook up some sausage and peppers. And, <laughs> and pass them out. Like a buffet, right? Yeah, pass right. them out to the people in front of us. Come out in our pajamas and, our, you know, slacks or something. That's great. But we didn't do it. Oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. There's a little number B.J. Thomas wrote. Thank you. <clears throat> it's lonely out tonight. And the feeling just got right for a brand new love song. Somebody done somebody wrong song. Hey, won't you play another somebody done song? song and make me feel at home while I miss my baby while I miss my baby so play play for me a sad melody so sad that it makes everybody cry 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 song about love that's gone wrong cause I don't want to cry all alone this is Denise honey Denise, we're doing a little how interview are you? I told Hello. you remember I told you last night no you didn't tell me we're doing an interview yes I did last no you, you're supposed to take me to get my nails done you didn't tell me we we're doing an interview we're doing an interview I would have been here getting ready for an interview was I Jesus, here no I was here. out shopping I got a big I know, and snowflake uh, and You. you guys, listen, why don't you calm down and look, if you have a couple of minutes to spare, I'd really love to this talk is not to you. Wait business. a minute, okay? This is between Johnny and I. We're the keys. You always do things like this to me. I don't understand you. Johnny, what are you doing? Can we cut this? Listen, cut this. Give me the keys. Listen, listen to me. You look beautiful. Let's just do it. Now he's leaving. Thing. If he leaves, I got no one to take me to the Dominic car. will cut take you. Cut the I don't want to drive with Dominic. He's a pig. Dominic is not a pig. Dominic is a pig and he smells. Okay, okay, okay. Let's listen, listen. You don't want to do the no, interview. No, you listen. I'm Can not doing the interview. Have, okay, you guys. Where are you going now? Listen, Johnny, Johnny, listen. Denise, right? That's right. This Hi. is my wife, Denise. How Hi. How long have the two of you been married? We've been married for three, three months. months. Newlyweds. Yes. Still in love? Absolutely. <laughs> Where and uh, when did you first meet? Well, we met while I was dancing in a show. I was a showgirl in, Ce in Vegas, in Caesar's Palace. Beautiful dancer. Oh, great. Yep. Beautiful dancer. Beautiful. Uh, Denise was uh, in Tommy Dean's Ice Follies mm -hmm. uh, for, what was that, hon? How many years have you done? I did that for five years. Five years. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, and then she did uh, the Blue Moon Parade. That's right. I did that for three years. I'm retired now because all the big tears and everything. I was hurting my back. I have a bad back, so yeah. I don't work anymore. It's hard work. I like not working. It's oh, great. great. I have I like a good her. time. I like her not working. Oh, there it is. Gives me a little more time with her. Seems to 
be quite an age difference between the two of you. Do you think that might be a problem for the future? Oh, no, he's wonderful. He's got stamina. Somebody done somebody wrong song to make me feel at home. So play, play for me a sad melody. So sad that it makes everybody cry. song about love that's gone wrong cause I don't want to cry all alone hey. do you have any uh, hobbies Denise? I shop I go shopping all the time I know where all the best things are uh -huh. Beverly Hills East Side West Side anywhere right. Tiffany's Bloomingdale's and all the customers all the salespeople know me I come right in. Quite a talent. It is, yeah. it is. It's you know, amazing. to buy beautiful pieces and know uh -huh. where to go. She's got great taste. Yeah. Oh, I'm Did sorry. She, oh, no, it's okay. Did, do you dress, uh, Johnny, do you influence him in his clothing? Oh, yeah, everything's silk. Everything's made in Italy, hand done for him. It's all tailored. Uh -huh. It's off to fit. Mm-hmm. You know. Great. Otherwise, it's Versace, but that's all. Uh-huh. Looks great. Well. Keep going. Now hey. what? No, look at this now. One. It's green. Go! Johnny, what'd you do? Well. Here you go. <laughs> Tiffany. Well, it's a little something. Thank it's you. not very much. Uh, Johnny. Let's see. I'm so nervous, I can't even open it. No, it They're was next. Though, aren't they? This is the one. No, this isn't the one. The other one had big diamonds in it. This one doesn't have any diamonds in it. No, these are emeralds. These are all emeralds. I got one. It's all emeralds. Oh, can we can we see it, please? Can you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, those kind of were funny. the days. <laughs> you know, it can't be ninety-two. Gene. I mean, ninety-two must have been when we did. Ninety-three. Sorry. Well, it has to be yeah, late ninety-three. Right. Yeah, because I left L.A. January '94, so. Well, and my be... wife is in it, Christina. We right. Didn't so it was '93. Really get together yeah. till the end of '93, or I think. Yeah. Yeah. Noah Jinix asks, "Did we shoot the performance stuff outside in the winter?" All that smoke coming out of Billy's face <laughs> was a great coincidence because well, I don't know. I guess it was fall, winter. Oh yeah, was, absolutely. Outside. We had we had no theater, so we thought, well, let's just shoot it against a black sky, so you get the you know the effect of being on a stage and the smoke. Well, it made it just absurd. Yeah, it made the smoke. You know, the so breath absurd. just just made it come and come and come and come. The Christina's um, so funny. She's really funny. I, every time I watch that, it's so good. She's just so in it, and I completely buy her as this. <laughs> This character that's kind of latched onto this guy for all the wrong reasons, and he's just an idiot. And he he's just, just has just no so idea why she's there with him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but he just he he thinks she's really loves him probably, and that it's a real relationship. He's so lost. Right. Right. Such an idiot. <laughs> but then now your stuff, your next, your stuff's coming up. Frankie's <clears throat> story. So this is good. All right. Yeah, so that's some... part one. Yeah, I wrote down a few questions that oh, good. were coming through the wire. Yeah, um, <clears throat> Jennifer Graham asks, what's the best part of working with Billy? And is there any stuff coming up? The best part of working with Billy? Well, we've been doing this our whole lives together. So, you know, when we're making really Super working. 8 movies. <laughs> yeah, it's, we have, you know, there's one of those unspoken languages where you kind of anticipate what each other's going to do. And, what? Uh, you mean Super Oh. <clears throat> You know, I have such trouble talking to you sometimes. Yeah. Anyway, it's, it's <laughs> we kind of uh, have the same the worst, rhythms you, and all that. Can I tell them the, word, the hardest part about it, in this situation yeah. anyway, is the technical crap. Like, if we could just play, and we didn't have to think about all the technical stuff that we have to do, it would be so much fun. And But otherwise, 
we try and find situations where we're playing, you know, and it's a Oh, did we, we forgot play. to mention, um, this is our last show. So oh, yeah, we're ending today. Because <laughs> the... Te- we tell you folks, at some point we're going to tell you the details of all the technical hell we've been through, just because we're trying to do this, <clears throat> not only with the best quality we can, but learn a lot of it on our own. So that's been a learning curve. Lots well, of stuff we help. never, yeah. We've oh yeah, we've help. had some great help by Jason Friedman yeah. and Morgan. Jason and Thompson. Jason Thompson. Um, yeah. So, and even um, Dan Gilman at the start was very helpful. Yeah. Um, that's so that's, say- yeah. Lauren Riccardi, if I'm pronouncing that, I don't want to say Ricciardi. It's Riccardi, I imagine, says that she uh, loved the video of the Fiamma Brothers. That's a third. So we're doing it in little thirds. It's about 26 minutes long total. So we're going to do it in three pieces. So the next bit is focused more about Frankie and then right. another. Piece. By the way, this is um, once you leave our show, this is all this is on YouTube as well. So you can mm-hmm. find it along with a yeah. second another Fiamma vid- video that we did later. We can talk about that later. Capital <clears throat> Capital Limited says, how did you enjoy doing the Bohemian Rhapsody video? It's his favorite. Oh, uh, great. It was fun to, to do. Kirk Thatcher directed it and uh, the people at Soapbox Films produced it and uh, Muppet Studio. It was great. It was just fun. The fu- I think a lot of the fun too was in recording the music, you know, ahead of time. That was a blast figuring out who was going to do what parts and what was best fit for that. I think probably my favorite bit that I got to do was when the band is in there and Janice is playing those, you know, really kind of that detailed playing and the guitar. Steve Whitmire was doing the hands and making that really specific and beautiful. It was all about that. You know, it was just all about uh, fun. Okay. Yeah. Um, Madison, man. Mantis asks if that was that all improvised. Yes, it was. What, what it, oh my gosh. Leslie. Leslie. Oh, wait. wait. Hold on. Your audio's yeah. connect. Yeah. With... There. I, oh. I, I, hi. 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 Oh, wait, 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 Leslie, oh, Leslie, wait. Oh, sorry, Les, 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 sorry. Uh, we just actually, oh my God. What? So wait, Matt just, called in. Wait, wait. Oh, sorry. No, wait a second. Sorry. I'm sorry. Gordon's trying to get, we have a bagpipe player outside. Okay. Les, so Leslie, I'm sorry. I, I just wanted, so Matt called in and uh-huh. he seemed to think that he was on today. And I'm, I'm worried. I think the same thing happened with you. Huh? What? Okay, Lolly, come on. Like, like, no, no, like, see, L- like Lolly, really, like I'm I think s- this is the wrong. I'm. We meant not today, but we uh-huh. meant in the future. Maybe you could come pop on with Lolly and. Oh, oh, well, I'm cool with it. Not today. I'm, I'm, okay, sorry. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh, Lolly. I'm so. Can we talk to her for a second? No. Okay. Oh, Lolly. Sorry. I think there's been some confusion. I don't know if you're good with emails and stuff, but I think, okay, I, I just want to, I apologize. It's okay, so we did I'm not going to emails because I don't have thumbs, Bill. Oh, well, maybe Leslie could help you. But I, Les, I'm sorry, this is actually the wrong uh, the wrong yeah. day. Oh, gosh, but you guys are so, well, listen, I'm. thanks for thinking of us. I mean, yeah, well, okay, she'll be fine. Well, would you come back? Would you come join us on another thing? We would love it. Be and great. actually, like, good, good. be a part of it and come and. Yeah. Oh, that would be great. I'm so sorry. I can't, I don't know what's happening. This is yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, it's okay. Well, listen, you guys are popular. You're spreading joy. You know, oh. and, um, my peeps and I will come back later. So. Whatever. Thank you, Les. I'm so yeah. sorry. I Not can't at believe all. It. Don't worry. Bye, Jean. Okay. Right. Bye, 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 Les. So Thank sorry. you. Bye. Ah, <laughs> uh, what the hell? Something happened with our uh, email stream. (laughs) Hey, do we have any questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to ask what the is going on. (laughs) All right, let's see. Uh, That was Leslie and Lolly, obviously. Leslie Uh, Rudolph and Lolly. Yeah. They're saying goodbye Um, to her. Sorry, gang. I don't know if there are any other questions at the moment, Gene. I don't see anything. Uh, anybody, Actually, any questions in the moment? 
Bill, do you, uh, do you have better experience with cooking than the Swedish chef, says Anime Girl 21. I have to say, Anime Girl 21, that yes, I do. Uh, our mother and grandmother, they were amazing cooks. And I learned a lot from them. And I've always loved cooking. And I love to cook and I love to make things. And uh, I love it. I, 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 if I, I think if I weren't doing this, I would probably want to maybe be a chef or something. Or um, I have this idea. Uh, should I give it up? Yeah. For a truck that's really good. Mm, I don't even truck. I don't even know this. I know. Want me to tell you? Should I tell you? Yeah, go ahead. What if somebody steals it? They won't. Okay. Well, it's we're recording it now, right? Yeah. It's, it's copywritten, I think. Okay. Right. So, um, and Christina came up with the great name. So, if you're familiar with the dish Osobuco, it's an Italian dish. It's a, a veal shank that is cooked and it just falls apart off the bone. It's like a little bone with the marrow in the middle and it falls apart and it's made with tomatoes and car little carrot pieces of carrot and onion. It's beautiful uh, mirepoix and it's just this beautiful thing. And then um, it just, it's delicious. So a lot of people, usually it's made with like risotto or polenta or something like that. The truck idea is to do osobuco sandwiches. And Christina said, I've got the name. O, O, H, so, S, O, buco from the mouth so oh so buco. uh but then we thought we would do things like some of the family uh recipes like the stuffed olives is very special treats on the anyway food truck idea anyway hey, leslie's on the leslie's leslie carrera rudolph is on the chat oh she's not mad Les, at sorry. us sorry sorry Les. bill i spend 95 percent of my time building and performing puppets in my garage so i don't know whether to thank you or to blame you the crumpet puppet troop uh, I don't know. Depends on how you're feeling that day when you're building. You can thank me don't or give, not. Don't give too much away, but does Kevin Clash talk about what he thinks of Ryan Dillon's performance of Elmo in the next week episode? Well, you're going to have to tune say. in to find out. Yeah. Uh, Who performed Rose the Sheep? The very talented Julianne Boucher. Uh, Jesse, that's Julianne, who has some other great characters. She was also Beverly Plume. In Muppets Now, the new uh, the Okie Dokie cooking segments. Uh, yes, Julianne was the sheep in the. Uh, Jesse wanted to know. Jesse wanted to know um, what Frankie Fiamma would look like as a Muppet. Well, Jess, I have an assignment for you. Yeah, should we uh, go to give work? Him, give it to him. <laughs> I'd love now, to see what him. you think. Yeah. Let's give him the next piece. Are we ready? All right. Let's uh, let's go back to the Fiamma Brothers, part two oh. of three. Give me a sec. I'm almost there. Where am I? Here I am. I'm getting rid of that. Now I'm going to go here and now I'm going to do this, Gene, and then I'm going to go here and then I'm going to go up and then I'm going to put this here and then I'm going to get rid of me and my audio. Maybe, oh. I, maybe we ought to do a little uh, holiday song. Okay. Okay. Great. For Christmas time. Oh, chestnuts roasting on an open. No, I, I don't want to suggest anything. On a first day of Christmas, okay. my baby said to me, A partridge in that pear tree. On a second day of Christmas, my baby said to me, Two golden earrings. And a partridge in a pear tree. On the toi day of Christmas, my femme, she said to me, Three moe shandons, two golden earrings, and a partridge in a pear tree. How far you want to go? That's it. That's wonderful. Thank you. Really Silent that night. All right, let's let's uh, let's rehearse that last number. You ready? I, um, I can turn a gray sky blue 
I can make it rain whenever I want it to. Oh, I can take the river from the river, make it sand. I can make a ship sail on dry land. I'm important on things to do. Come on with this light. Okay. We're very excited about tonight, and uh, we hope to put on a, a, a hot little session. Again. Okay. Okay. All right, settle down. on you, people trying to get a part of you. It's men. really just part of the uh, yeah, you know, and you success. I'm married, so oh, it ain't see. much I can do anyway. Right. If you understand. You feel that you but know. him. I've got a lawsuit now. Uh, with, with this girl I used to see, we, uh, you know, I never had a health problem in the past, but now uh, this girl that I was dating, uh, I, I personally personally believe that she was responsible for giving me these kidney stones. That's right. This girl, she, she, she passed on like that. Of course they are. Oh, really? Listen, this girl, she drank a lot of milk, yogurt, ice cream, mayonnaise, eggs. High fat, high cheese. Yeah, yeah. It, this girl was a dairy freak. Mm. Yeah. So I would spend time with her every time. I mean, you know, you, you take her out for a nice meal. Mm -hmm. She's filled up with the stuff. You go home, you have your intimate time, and naturally it's going to pass on. I'll tell you something. And every doctor we talk to says, that's not possible. Yeah. Well, you know what? We're going to prove it's possible. And uh, we're going to get this taken care of and straightened out. There's something to do with some rocks coming out of him. I don't know. He's talking about it. He's telling me, he's telling everybody that because I made love to him. I made love. No, he doesn't even say that. He uses that F word. And I'm not going to use it because I'm a lady. Uh-huh. Okay? It's innocent people. He goes up there saying, come to me. Come to me, right? I'm sitting, I go out, I don't go out a lot, you know, and I see the concert, I think, I take them literal, literal. Nothing. I, you know, I, I haven't seen this girl for months and months, but I think, you know, I, I gotta be frank with you, we did it an awful lot, so uh -huh. I think I'm, st it's just a matter of uh, getting rid of it, all of whatever's you know, in my system. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Her dairy. Are you, um, it's crazy. It's really crazy. I mean, who knows? It's not. A, it's not a sexually. Excuse me a minute. Oh, I'm upset. Mm, mm. We understand. Take your time. Oh God. Listen. The thing is that it's not a sexually transmitted disease that's happening here. This is what he said. And I'm. I'm going to be branded. You're going to be sued. Yeah. I'm getting publicity. What? Mm. 
You know, they do that. Yeah. They, they get you, you're in the one minute in the public eye, then you're gone. Good, let him go. Let him go. Yeah. And you know what? It's the brother. The brother's the troublemaker. I think you know what I think we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, maybe we're repeating ourselves. I think, uh, I think once it uh, goes to trial, okay. then uh, everything will get worked out. But primarily, yeah. that's why we have to stop our act. And I don't, I did it once, and I'm sorry that I did it. I lost my kids, my husband's very heavy. Very heavy, you know. To him to look at me and sing that song about the body, I got excited. God forgive me. I did. <laughs> I'm playing in Cincinnati, you know. Uh, you know, I, I, I draw a big female uh, following. Uh -huh. They, yeah, it was traditional that they would bring out the flowers on the front of the stage. And uh, at, at, at what, there was one evening when I got, you know, I, I, I sort of lost myself in the show, and I, I wanted to give something back to the audience. So that's, I not, that's not unusual. Oh, right. No, so I start picking up flowers. I pick up a, a bunch here, throw them out to the left. Pick up a bunch here, throw them out to the right. Pick up this other piece, throw it right in the middle. I'm, I'm like, I'm supposed to know that they're in a vase. They're in a glass vase. Uh, uh, here's some woman right smack in the face. Right there, cut her open. Oh my right here. Gosh. Breaks the collagen in the nose. Yeah. Uh. Cuts her open and she don't see no more. Yeah. But it's funny when you think back on it now. I remember this one time, yeah, one time we, uh, well, see, sometimes, I don't know, it's like a habit, but sometimes I, when I light my cigarette, my arm goes out and it comes back, you uh -huh. know, with the flame kind of thing. It's just a little something I've done all my life. And uh, so one night we're, uh, we're backstage shining, you know, autographs and things like that. And uh, I flick to light my cigarette and the, uh, the, my the lighter catches the girl's hair right on, right on fire. They're waiting right in here. line getting autographs, you know, a whole yeah. line of people. She, she gets caught right here with the flames and she goes, whoa, like this. <laughs> it's the handbag, it's on as, fire. As she goes back, she hits her boyfriend right in the face oh and smashes his nose so the blood is pouring out and his hair is on fire. So I'm signing a book, I went like this, I went, hey, your name is... <laughs> and there he is, his hair's on fire like that. <clears throat> well, but it started a whole chain reaction with the people that were in line. Everybody behind. else in line. <laughs> and so, uh. so the whole tunnel is lit up. It's like it's beautiful. It's... So we're, we're speeding. We get pulled over. You know, like it's something that doesn't happen every day. The cop, the cop comes over. How fast, we, how fast do you think you were going, boys? Ah, uh, 55. 55, officer. Uh, we thought we were doing 55. Yeah, bullshit him a little bit. Yeah. I step on the gas and I take off. Oh my God! And he's chasing us down the street. You, you know? bastards! Yeah. You bastards! You didn't sign a ticket. <laughs> you <laughs> bastards! So we we go. We finally we get to the concert. And honest to God, there he is. The truth. There he is. The officer's in the front row. Oh, you kidding? What a girl! Show. What a girl! He brought a girl to the show. Enjoying the show. Yeah. We give him a picture later. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So we've been blessed. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. I love when you say, um, what was the part I wrote down? We're talking about the dairy. And you know what? Every doctor says that's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to prove them wrong. Clean out that dairy. Her dairy. <laughs> Her dairy. <laughs> <coughs> and, uh, um, go oh, ahead. Oh, man. No, no, it's, all right. it's just there's too many things. The people are loving. The girls are on the chat are just going nuts for, for yes, Frankie. Uh, yeah, <laughs> who's told us? Uh, I think it's all, I can't, it's everybody. They love Frankie's, the way Amy, he dances. Anime 21 would love to see him sing anything. Yeah, that's wow. right. Yes. Jennifer says, uh, uh, wait, let me, I'll ask that in a second. Uh, Jonathan Sloman asks, are the mutton chops real? No, what did I make those out of? We, we did it just with fake hair. We bought some hair. And... But what? No, we couldn't have bought hair because we just kind of. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what? You're right. Cause I was thinking it was yeah. the first night. Yeah. Oh, no. and just God. powder. I, I was kind of going for like the Peter Lawford. He, Billy was more the Sinatra. I was more the Peter <laughs> Lawford. And I had a, a little a mole. Uh, a mole there. I don't know if he had one, though, but I added a little mole. No, I don't think yeah. he did. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Jennifer Graham would also like, she would like to know if we would ever do a live show of the Fiamma Brothers. <laughs> I don't know who would come. 
I don't know. Yeah, I know. The same cop that was that pulled us over, he'd be yeah. in there, you know. Probably, probably bring a girl. Start. Bring a girl with him. So all new lawsuits would start up, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Johnny Fiamma should sing. This is Jesse. Johnny Fiamma should sing a rendition. Excuse me, of being green. He's the right color for the song, and Dr. T should sing Billy Preston's Another for Another. I agree. It'd be fun. I'd like to do those. Hey, what if I did? It's not easy being green. Huh? Right? Gold. I, I could do kind of like, it's not easy being green. Oh, yeah. There you go. Easy yeah, yeah. being green. Yeah. You could do like dancing girls around you. Yeah. It's so easy getting blue. So, all right. Well, um, do you want to take it? No. Oh, my God. Whoa. Oh my God! Hey guys, hey. there oh, we hi. go. Hey, just, uh, guys, that. thanks so much oh. for having me on. I am so <laughs> oh psyched. My oh my god! Great. This is great. Oh. Eric, your shot's really high. Uh, you, oh. He's used, used to being you. below the frame. Eric? Right. You know, I'm used I'm used to, to doing these interviews from home. Oh, the, that's right. You know, I'm down here, and everything, everything's set up for that. <laughs> the, I know Eric's here too. That's awesome. Well, EJ. I got, you guys, I gotta tell you something. That's great. No, no, well, wait, wait, let me, wait, 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 let me tell you something. You guys are the bomb. I love your show and oh, I'm man. so touched that you, you invited me uh, to, to talk about myself and my work and your know, okay. now. That's and, better, right? Eric, that's, that's not terrific. That's actually and, and, not. And you, wait, 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 wait. It looks like I, my head is on your body. Hang on. Well, it depends on what well, screen. Not in are. our shot. Not in oh, my no? shot. Oh, no. damn. Uh, on my wait, shot, it looks wait, like wait, my I'm head's sorry, on wait, 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 Gene, I don't, wait, hold on. Hey, Eric. I'm sorry, yeah. guys. This I, is I such a to treat say... to have a surprise. <laughs> Eric surprised me with Eric. That's awesome. Well, he's a... I, I, hey, I gotta tell you, hey, Eric. I got I to gotta tell you something, guys. So this What's has up? been happening since the beginning of the show. So uh -huh. Matt came on in the beginning. Oh, yeah. cool. And, and then Leslie popped in. And you guys. Oh, that was nice of her. No, but you, Eric, we can't see you at all. It's just your chest at the moment. You gotta come down. Oh, okay, down hold on. A I, bit. I, I, just, I know what to do. I know what can to you do. See? All can, right. So, hey. so, but, but what I'm saying is that this is not actually what we're supposed to be. No, this wasn't the day. You said August. It's August first, no, right? I, listen, I, 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 I ironed the shirt. Oh, I ironed my shirt. Boy, this right. is no, shirt. Look at that. But this should work. No, this we said. Work. I bet this will work. How's that? That's. That's great. That's, that's better. No, no, uh, no, 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 oh, no. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Oh. Are you okay? Oh. Uh, Listen, oh, man. I'll save you uh, the trouble. I'll I... save you the trouble. Yeah, you know what? You could probably stop moving chairs and stuff because the, here's the thing. We I'm didn't sorry, need... guys. I, I don't think I can do this right now. Well, we, okay, good. Will you take a rain check? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. sure, Eric. Not a, yeah, no problem. Okay, Thank I'm so you. I'm so sorry. I'll make no. it up to you. I'm so oh. sorry. Don't worry about that, it. Don't worry about okay. it. This, it's all right. Look at, oh, oh, my God. Oh, you really oh, hurt. Thanks for the surprise. Oh, gosh. I'll, oh, see, you I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys. I think I saw. I'll, I'll take you oh, off. I'll nice take surprise. you out. Okay. I'll take you out. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Eric. Listen, feel better. Get, get well. Thanks. Guys, you'll never believe it. So I got this call from uh, from my manager and and yeah. Coolio's agent reached out to me. Apparently, Coolio, you know, Coolio, the rat, he's kind of- Yeah, yeah, yes. Guy. He's got like 10 kids. He's a fellow father of twins like myself. Today is his 57th birthday and he's a huge Ernie fan. I'm, I'm glad Eric left because he's, he, Bert kind of freaks him out. Anyway, I was gonna do this like video call with Ernie, like, you know, right at 3.45 today. And I, I, told, I told my manager, John, John Michael, I said, John Michael, I can't do it. I promised Billy and Gene that I'd be on their show to talk about Muppets Now and Sesame Street. And um, guys, I don't even mind. It would have been cool, but I'm, I'm, I don't even care. This is great. You know, occasionally, you know, I don't think I can hear you, Peter. Oh, yeah. Is it audio yeah. all right? Yeah. I'm, say can, say can, something. Gene, I'm click talking the, right now. Can you click the little audio icon? I yeah. don't hear you. No, my, my mind's up all the way. No. Uh, no wait, now the video is starting. Click yeah. the video thing. Video? My video? Yeah. Video's cutting out. Video's good. cutting out. Bill. It's cutting out? Did you video's it? cutting out. Uh, Bill. Oh, whoa. We lost him? Oh. Oh, we lost him? What is happening? Gene, what did you send? Do we have any questions? <laughs> 
All right. <clears throat> Listen. We're gonna make this. We're gonna we're gonna revive this disaster. What is our Jennifer Graham asks? What is our favorite family dish to eat growing up? Oh my God, pasta. Yeah, but what kind? Any kind. <laughs> Mine was angel hair with like truffle sauce. But well, my no, very we only favorite, had that Christmas Eve. Right. Well, she's just asking favorite. Oh, right. Not, yeah. Yeah. Mine was uh, breaded veal cutlets. Oh, yeah. Veal cutlets. You know what? There's too many. Veal cutlets, meatballs. There's meatballs with white raisins. There's yeah. uh, the sauce itself with all the meats in it, sausage and chicken and beef and pork. And then mom would make things like sometimes she would do like a chicken with anchovy olive paste, like on the outside and then, and then cook that. And, and then you had creme caramel that she would make and everything, everything she made was unbelievable. Yeah. So Marshall Remember the kid I made raviolis with Nanny. I like that. I like ravioli. When you would pretend to be sick and she would bring you home from school. Yeah. Yeah. Marshall Grover, does my jacket run on batteries or is it plugged in? It's, it's batteries. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I, it'd be a little dangerous plugging myself into the wall. Belzy 66 Bill and Jean, who would you say are your top favorite cartoon characters? Ooh. Man. I got to go. I'm, I'm a really... If top two as a team, I would say Barney and Fred, Fred and Barney. Oh, wow. I love them. That's hard. Hard. Yeah, I mean, I would have to go way back to when Man. I was growing up. <clears throat> well, that would be the ask, time. Ask that, answer another <laughs> question so I can think of it. Oh, yes. uh, let's see. Madison. Us Italians really know what's up. Madison Mantis. That's right, Madison. Do you like to cook? Uh-huh. Jennifer Graham, she loves Italian food. Jesse, Bill, what was it like performing Dr. Phil Van Neuter's hands? That was a lot of fun, actually. Amer Brian American Autistic. To... There you go. We mentioned Dr. Phil Van Neuter. Oh, American right. Autistic has been asking us <laughs> Phil Van Neuter questions. He's, a, ah. he's obsessed with Dr. Phil. Dr. Yes, Phil, so the original it, Dr. Phil. It was, uh, it was fun because Brian and I got to play again. You know, that's where that, those characters came out of Muppets Tonight. Johnny and Sal, Dr. Phil and Mulch. I didn't do Mulch, but I got, I was Dr. Phil's hands. It's always fun to do hands because it's that, it's that kind of Swedish chef thing that, uh, you know, Jim and Frank did, and then, then it was, uh, geez, I guess me and Steve, and now me and Peter. Peter's amazing with the chef's hands. Uh, it's always fun. It's that thing. It's that game where you put your arms behind your back and somebody comes in and sticks their arms through your armholes and they do your hands for you. Uh, and you don't know what they're going to do and they don't know what you're going to say. And so it's, it's fun. I love doing it. Dr. Phil. I want to, I want to give a good answer to the cartoon question. So I'm going to answer that when we come back from the next, the final segment. All right. <clears throat> so well, I why don't we do I'm, the I'm next? I'm like blocked. But let me let's mention this before we go on to the next. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. We we gave uh, we had the giveaways last week, and we want to do them again this week. So what you got to do, gang? <clears throat> if you haven't already subscribed to sorry, the YouTube you know, channel, to, I'm sorry to cut you off, but American Autistic is a she, and I think maybe I said oh. he or you said he, but I, I apologize. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that. All right. Um, okay, so what you have to do this week to win these prizes and to be in the running to win the prizes, I should say, you have to go subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you've already subscribed, then you're already in the running. But if you haven't, please go and please tell as many people as you can to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Also, please go join. Oh, and this is before I get on to that. Let's tell them what... They're going to win this week. Hmm. Two things, just like last week. I, I made this sketch. This is just a Xerox of it. I made a sketch while I was watching our fan art episode. And Billy, I sent it to Billy so he could sign it because I already signed it. And we'll send you that sketch signed by both of us as well as Billy. What do you, do you have? 
I'm sorry, I'm just looking at, oh God, am I supposed to show you something? Sorry, yeah. uh, this is the thing I'm showing? Yeah. Can anybody guess what that is? Let's just see if anybody can guess. Does anybody know what that is? In the meantime, CJA stuff asked if Peter, as in Peter Lintz, does your arms for the Swedish chef. Yes, he is the hands for the Swedish chef. Uh, okay, am I supposed to say anything else? No, but I, we should also tell people to join our mailing list because you'll also get weekly, usually weekly letters, uh, things that other people don't have pr um, access to things like that. And we'll keep building that, some giveaways uh, just to people on the mailing list, all that. So subscribe, mailing list, you got it covered. Uh, that's all and I have sorry, to say. And sorry, so people are just guessing. Uh, Jesse says, Jesse Oliver says Pepe's hair. Josh Hankenmeyer says a feather from, a hair from animal. LZ66 says a hair from Dr. Teet's beard. And the correct answer is Pepe's little head. Little uh, okay, shall we go on to the third part? So that'll be one of the gifts along with the sketch. Yeah. Okay, so let's do, let's watch the final part of the Fiamma Brothers. Yeah, uh, let me just do this. Uh, okay, I'm gonna line it up. You ready, Gene? Go. I'm gonna get rid of me here. How did Dominic tell you? I think past 134. Yeah. You'll see Vendome Lake. Yeah, liquor store. Okay. You gotta go about five miles still. What? He said you'll see a liquor store, but yeah, you gotta go still like five miles. What the hell's the point of that? To see. Just so you know, you gotta go five miles from that point. That's that's not right. You're you're wrong. This is wrong. We're not going right. Five way. miles and five. Turn around. No, John. He said five miles from the liquor that store. That doesn't make any sense, Frank. What the hell are you talking uh, about? Here we go. Jesus. Here we go. Yeah, it's just late. late. It's right. just oh, it's yeah. okay. Beer garden. Excuse me. Can you tell me what a, the Hudson Beer Garden is? I've never heard of it. Hudson Beer Hudson Garden. Beer. Where, um, where did they tell you it was? They said past the Vendome. Uh-huh. Okay, so, so south of Vendome. Yeah. So, okay. Ventura. South of Vendome. Ventura. Ventura. Okay, well, Ventura Boulevard is all the way up there. Okay. And, and the Vendome is, it's, um, you know, let's see, Rivers, you know, there's Moore Park and Riverside as yeah. you're going north. But if you were supposed to go to Ventura yeah. Boulevard, then um, you have to go farther south. Okay. I told you. All okay. right. All right. Thank Good you very much. Thanks a lot, then. Wasp. Well, I think a lot of women are probably very, very envious. Oh, I bet they are. I got my John. He's mine. That's right. Do you, do you get nervous when he, you know, goes, when he was going on tour? Do you, do you I'm with him. Oh, you're with him. Yeah, oh. I'm with him. Yeah. That's great. What are you looking at me like that for? What I'm looking, so it's obvious. It's obvious she loves you very, very much, and you love her. I do. I think it's a wonderful thing, especially. That's the second time I said that. I do. I do. It's like the fourth time you've said that, honey. Especially in this business when it's really difficult. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we should just go back to the hotel. Shh. Just be quiet. We're gonna get more look. Look at that cloud over there. It looks like a T-Rex uh, from Flying Dinosaurs. What is that? Uh, your brother Frankie. Uh huh. I know he's single. Yeah. And uh, do you think that it's difficult for him? Honey, he does. He talks about those stones all the time. Those things that come out of uh, his, you know, uh, girls. It's kind of depressing. I think. I think he needs to, you know. He's got a problem. That's all. He's got, but maybe he shouldn't be talking about it when they're like having champagne on their first date. You know, well, maybe you see, it's a little upsetting, especially uh, saying. Excuse it was... me, I think you're a little bit out of line here. My brother is just being very honest. He has a problem, and he deals with it. Now, if some people can't handle that information, that's a damn shame. Yeah. Yeah. But you asked who the ladies' man is. Yeah. 
Well, it's a different story. You're blushing. <laughs> you got a lot of girlfriends. I ain't, many, I, ain't, I ain't gonna say. Huh? How many girlfriends you got? I ain't gonna say. What? How many? Who's gonna count? Huh? I ain't gonna say. I'm gonna say. So you don't want to get married? Uh, uh, well, let me say this. Next question. I'm the, what I say? Is everybody deaf in here? I'm the ladies' man. Okay. Tell us about that, uh, that picture on the wall behind you. I'm sorry? Whoa, whoa, there it is! There it is! Go, just go up. We're here. Oh, God bless me. Here on the right hand? Yeah, keep... See? No, see? Uh... Oh, no. What? No, I... Fuck, keep going. What's the matter with you? Uh, John, I thought that was it! Hands all over my hands now. Come on, eight dollars. Come on, eight dollars. You know what time it is? Well, probably the, the show's probably over by now. That's very funny. How about asking her? She's busy. I'm drinking coffee. What do you mean she's busy? We're lost. Ask her. She's probably gone to the show. How's that gonna look? Frank, 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 Frank. Oh my God. Oh my God. We got it. I'm gonna get over. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, but don't huh? kill us now. It's beautiful. Look what they did. Oh my god. Oh my god. Colin, go, on, go, on, go, oh, go This go, is go. it. <laughs> huh? Come on, go, go, go. Yeah. I'll wet my pants. Yeah. Let's go through here. Now, where do we go? Up front? Let's go down there and yeah. take okay. a left. Take a left. Thank you. Thanks. John, this is a garage. Hmm? No, this is, we park here. Let's go. You're blowing my mind, cause I can't get next to you. Can't you see you're blowing my mind, girl? Next to you. Can't you see these tears I'm crying? Next to you. <laughs> Yo, I love, I love when your head goes like this when we're singing. <laughs> <laughs> I the talking parts. I love how Frankie talks lines too. Yeah. 
because he, oh, he like, th- it's probably the lines that he just couldn't sing so yeah he, he, he speaks them i have to check something here with jennifer graham <clears throat> yes i love how you're all able to create stuff together despite the age difference i saw that too yes <laughs> let's let's find that what out what do you mean the age difference let's see who's older who do they think is older uh jennifer and, and what kind of age difference do you think there is yeah, Jennifer, what what do you think is the age difference and who's the older one? I guess they're going to go with me because I got the gray hair going. But let's see what I happens. have more gray hair than you and a little ball. No, I'm talking about Johnny. <clears throat> oh, 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 wait. Oh, is she talking about us in real life? or jo- I don't no. know. No, it must be us because she's saying how you're able to create stuff together. They need to make an updated one showing what Johnny and Frank are up to now. This is Jennifer Graham asked that question, right? Right, yeah. Jennifer, so... All right, folks, who's the older one? You probably already know. Their argument in the car is hilarious. <laughs> but Jennifer... I love when Billy's, when Billy's getting gas. Uh, what did you say there? Uh, come on, $8. Come on, $8. <laughs> like it's a slot machine. Uh, I like when you're looking at the clouds. It's like they have nothing. There's like a, just silence. And you go, what is that? That's like them when I'm flying dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jean is older. I think Jean is older. Jean is older. I think Jean is the older. But only four years apart. Only four years apart. Yeah, I'm four years older. So Madison, very good. Madison, Jean's older, but I think Johnny's supposed to be older. You're right. That was. But you know what? We just Bill and I just discovered that a couple days ago. I always thought it, but that's what I always thought. thought. You thought it was the opposite, I guess. I just never thought about it, I guess. But you always put that. Okay, Jean is older. All right, now don't rub it in. That's They're right. both the youngest. Gene is Thank older. you, Marshall. Gene is older. <laughs> older. Bill looks more Italian than Gene. Yeah, that, I think you're right. And younger. No. <laughs> I, oh, who looks younger? Let's ask that. Who looks younger? Oh, yeah. Who looks younger? Bill looks more Italian. Who's younger? Come on. All right. So, um,. Who was your favorite celebrity other than yourselves that you've ever met? <laughs> other than myself. Well, I'm sorry, Puffy the Pig, it's, there is no other. Just me. I forgot to think about my cartoon character. Uh, favorite celebrity other than yourselves that you've that's, ever met? That's always hard. It's really hard to know. Yeah, I've been a bunch. No idea. Oh, Jesse says I look younger. That's my Jesse. That's my buddy. Kissing a little butt there, Jesse. Next to you. Bill looks Uh, lo- (laughs) Jules looks the youngest, they're saying. And Josh is walking the line. You both look younger. Younger than what? Jonathan Sloman. That's you know right. What? Younger than what? It's because I show a little gray hair. That's that's the only reason. Is that what it is? Must be. By the way, uh, what was that question from earlier? Favorite celeb to work with? It said uh, James. Said, it's hard, James, to to figure out. Oh my God, Gene. Oh, aya, Julianne. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Oh, that's really on. Hi. I was. I thought I'd be on earlier because this. Because I mean, to come on and talk about puppeteers who are also studying to be behavioral analysts for the FBI. I thought I'd be the only one, but you've got a whole crew of people. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, Julianne. Uh, oh my God! You're not going to. Puppeteers gonna, you're not, are studied. No, you're not. You're not going to believe this. So, the whole show, right from the very beginning. Yeah. Matt. Matt came on, which we didn't, we actually didn't expect. He because studied we, for the FBI too? No, 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 no. It has nothing to do. I don't, I'm not sure what the FBI thing is that you're referring to, because now I'm really confused. Now, no, something about the you emails. Said the show was going to be Muppet performers who also like dreamt of being in the FBI somehow. And, and I th- can people hack emails while I don't they're know being what's sent? Happening. Yeah. Julian, I swear we don't know. This has happened the whole show we had. So, so Matt popped on. Then uh, who? Leslie popped on. Then Eric and Peter, like at the same time. And I, I'm sorry. I really am sorry. But now you're, you've come on, and this isn't really the show that we were supposed to have you on for. It was a kind. Of, I was saying it was what it would be like. This show coming up was going to be the kind of show that you would pop in on, but not actually, ay ay ay, to actually do it. That's really weird because I've got because the email is like right here. 
And I, I like. I, what's the FBI thing? I didn't write FBI. What is that? Yeah, you said Muppet performers who dreamt of being behavioral analysts in the FBI. So I thought it was just going to be me. So I. I've been I didn't really. How how late did you write this email? I didn't write that. I swear, I didn't. I didn't, and I didn't even know you were an analyst or wanted to be an FBI analyst. Well, that's what we were going to talk about. Yeah, it was, it's like a secret. I, I was going to share my. <laughs> well, you know and what? I, and like, well, for an hour, but I missed. I mean, I've been in the room waiting for an hour. I missed a lecture. Julianne, it, it sounds like a lovely topic to discuss, but I think it's worth its own show, or something of that sort. So, what do you say we do this on another one? Would you come back to do it? Well, okay, yeah. You know, we would. I'm so. I can't. I'm really sorry. This is terrible. I. I don't know what happened. I don't. I. I swear. I haven't been drinking and writing these things. This isn't like a thing. <laughs> are you. Are you uh, sure about that? Yep. Yeah. But can we just? Oh. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my God. Well, no. I'm just. I mean, it's interesting. I mean, it's. it's You're a, analyzing. Yeah. It's yeah. Fantastic She's personality. Taking notes. Can I just do something real quick? Can I just say, since you're here, uh, that that um, your characters on Muppets now are really fun. Oh, Jackson, thanks. we were just watching it yesterday, and Jackson cracked up with uh, <laughs> the the the, um, the massage. Oh, the, the Margaret slap woman. slap. <laughs> yes, he loved that. He oh, loved thanks. Smack and Peggy, and and Beverly's <laughs> awesome. I love her. So, but oh, I. Oh, thanks. Can you come back? Can we do another? Sure, time? sure. I just don't. I don't want to miss another lecture, though. I, I no, had no, to. Miss the, the, no, there is. There won't be any. I have no analyst FBI things. I but I would love to hear your story. Okay. Love hear, okay. Yeah, love to hear well, about that. Okay. I'm mm -hmm. Sorry, that was so weird. I, I, no, you know. I'm so sorry. It's awful. Yeah. I'm really sorry. But I'd love to come back. Yeah, and talk about all the. Okay. There's okay. more. There's more characters coming up. So. Awesome. Awesome. I'm now, so. Excellent. Thank you. Well, Thanks. Okay. We'll be in touch. We'll send you an email. Okay. Yeah, I'll send you well, a new email. Okay. All right. Love Thank you. you. Bye. Okay. Bye. Love Bye. you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh, she's still yeah. there. Get rid of her. Oh, yeah. Ha. Okay. I hope that's Did, Were we in it. touch Why, with any other people? Up? What is it? It's one fifteen already. Uh, um, should we continue on? Do you think there's any more questions to discuss? Hang on for a little bit. Um, anything else we need to mention other than just subscribe and join the mailing list? Oh, we do. We have some, one other thing to give away. <clears throat> this will help you. This will encourage you to join the mailing list. Next week, as we mentioned, we're going to have Jane Gutnick and Kevin Clash. In the episode, Kevin mentions who the first Muppet he ever performed was. Technically speaking, who mm. the very first Muppet he ever performed was. So, if and don't you, react, Gene. If somebody puts it in the thing, don't react. Yeah, no, don't don't answer it here because we'll just ignore you and we'll disqualify you. Okay, <laughs> Jesse, <laughs> don't mention it here. What we want you to do is send, uh, join the mailing list and let us know in the mailing list. Don't mention it here. No impulsive stuff. Um, and then I'll pick a winner before next week's episode airs. That way you won't hear it before you give the answer. And whoever gets the answer right <clears throat> wins what, Bill? Uh, uh, well, uh, actually, a choice, Gene. Go. A Johnny Fiamma photo autograph, a Swedish chef photo autograph, or a Pepe the King prawn. One of those three, if they All like. Right. Well, I guess that? we'll let we'll let them choose once they're picked as the winner. Yeah. So remember, before next week's episode, let us know who the tech, who Kevin Clash performed first in the Muppets, technically speaking. That's important. Yes. First Mupp. Yes. Okay. Um, I, I saw something. I'm trying to find it. I thought it was. Uh, <laughs> Beals, uh, B Beals, Beals 66 you can always go watch this episode again on our YouTube oh. channel because I, I, I gave the question way too many times but Beals 66 mentioned earlier Gene that they liked how Frankie was flirting with the camera that's one of my favorite parts <laughs> well what I say what I say who's, who's, huh? who's the ladies man huh? Huh? I love Nick, that I'm sorry and hi then, Julianne's and then, on the chat there too hi Julianne Sorry, Hi, Julian. 
Sorry about that. And then there was also, I can't find it. It was something they were talking about. They were just saying how sexy Johnny's fiance is, his wife, right? They were married, yeah, for three yeah. months. Uh, and I have to agree. <clears throat> She's a babe. A follow up. That's my girl. That's we my should mention girl. again. We should mention again that that video is on YouTube. If you look for the Fiamma Brothers, the Last Swing, but there's also one that I I really enjoy watching just because we crack ourselves up a bit in it, called the Fiamma Brothers play Fargo, and it was just a spur of the moment thing. We were both at our mom's in the middle of the winter, and it was there was heavy snow outside. And we went onto the back porch, and our stepdad uh, filmed us. And uh, Paul, what was Paul's last name? A friend of mine joined in at the end. But we, again, it was completely improvised, and there are a couple times where we just stopped because we're cracking up. And, uh, and so I enjoy watching that more than it. There were actually four videos. The other two are just too, too crappy to show publicly. Here's a question. Jonathan Sloman, if I get... A Swedish chef autograph is signed by Peter. No, I'm sorry. It would just be me. Um, uh, do, 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 how do you submit? Marshall <clears throat> Grover is asking about that. How do submit you submit? Submit for, to win that. Like yeah. I said, join the mailing list and send me the question or send me your answer through the mailing list. Right. Uh, Jesse's qualifying. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to change that. You're right for asking. I almost made a technical error. You can't send a question through the mailing list. But down at the bottom of the page, it says contact us, and there is uh, an email through that contact. Ah. Do it through there. So Good the contact email. Contact, contact yeah. us. Thank you for asking the very, that question. very bottom of the website, it says contact us. Click that email and send your answer there. Sorry, gang, almost messed you up. Thanks, Marshall Grover. Appreciate that. And <clears throat> Jesse wants to clarify, Kevin's first Muppet from Sesame Street or the Muppets? The Muppets. Any Muppets. Um, uh, oops, what happened there? That just jumped or something. Uh, Leanna Rivera, do you get starstruck? Let me once, when? let me just say one thing, Billy. Sorry, just so we don't have any discrepancies here. We're talking about the Muppet Kevin will mention in the episode as the first that he, because knowing Jesse, he's going to come up with something that we don't even know about that might be true. But the answer is what the one Kevin that Ke says. Was what Kevin says in the episode. Yeah. Yes. So we may be old and forget things, but the one that Kevin mentions will be whatever that is. Yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, Liana Rivera. Do you get starstruck when working with celebrities while performing one of the Muppets? Absolutely. Um, there are certain ones that knock me over and I can't even speak or I start to cry. And then others that I'm just, you know, having fun with and, and having a great time with, but Michelle not, Pfeiffer not ring a bell. Yeah. But Tony Bennett, even more so actually, but, uh, Tony Bennett made me cry. Um, that was just an emotional reflex or, you know, um, but yeah, it doesn't uh, happen often, but, but certain, certain people, uh, crumpet puppet troop asks who would win in a boxing match, Bobo or Jules Bobo. Why? Because Jules Bobo's is older. Okay, yeah, Jules is older, I think. Um, although they wouldn't fight. Well, they're fantasy. not fighting. Fantasy not fight. fighting. Yeah, fantasy fighting. That was Bill who did Jackhammer. No, I wasn't Jackhammer. Was I? Julianne, I was Jackhammer? No. I don't think so. I was Jackhammer? I don't remember. Can I say something to everybody? No, Julianne. I thought that was Julianne. I'm so confused. I'm, I'm the family archivist. And sometimes it's really difficult because Billy will do a job and he'll forget that he did it two days later. So I will have to do detective work on the Internet and find things that you don't even remember you did. I don't remember. Anything. You shouldn't you shouldn't drink when you work. Uh so Henry or Henri, Henri Greenberg or Henry Greenberg, what was the process of creating the new characters for Muppets Now? Um, it was a collaborative thing. 
uh, probably started, well, it depends on which characters. Um, but for example, Julianne's character, uh, Beverly Plume, um, that came out of wanting to find someone, a mediator between the chef and the guest chef, because the chef can't communicate very well. And that wouldn't go anywhere. You know, he's usually best suited for gags and bits um, because people don't have to try and understand him. Um, but we thought since this was kind of a competition, we'd need somebody in, in the middle and help do that and drive the piece. So Julianne had a, a lot on her shoulders, but um, part of that was, okay, we had an idea for a mediator, but what was it? And I said, I think Julianne could do some sort of great, you know, we should have some great female character. And we started talking about what that was. And because we have certain puppets that are around and available, we chose the turkey. We thought that would be great. And then I went to Julianne and I asked her to help us figure out, you know, who is this character? What is she like? We, we had some ideas, you know, we talked about is she English or French or, um, and then Julianne started to kind of play and, um, you know, just talking about her and we were just having some fun playing and she went away and worked on it and thought about it and then created Beverly. So it was a big collaboration, you know, but Julianne really is, uh, you know, where the character came from. Let's answer this for American Autistic. He's very curious about when we will ever see Dr. Phil Van Neuter again. Any, any I don't again? know. I think I may have <clears throat> answered this a long time ago. I can't remember now, but I think Dr. Phil is toast. I don't think he is one of the functioning uh, Muppets at, at the moment. So he would have to be refurbished. Um, and it just depends on how badly he's kind of decayed. It's been 30 years or 25 years, I guess, next year. It'll be by the way, years. by the way, speaking of that, <clears throat> man, I'm sorry, my throat. Speaking of that, we talked to Jane Gutnick a lot about the, how the puppets age and have to be refurbished. So hmm. you'll get more information on that whole process than the lifespan of a typical Muppet. Hmm. Many of us uh, decided, Many of us, oh yeah. <clears throat> Jamie, Jamie, who was a great guest on our show, Jamie Carroll. James Many of Carroll. us can decipher what puppet a particular person is performing, no matter if someone else dubs over it. We're weird that way. <laughs> I know, I know, you know, I can believe that because Jamie, if, you've saw, if you saw the episode, he was working with, um, with, uh, what are the, what's the Palisades. toy company? Palisades. And he was making sure that they were really accurate on the details of creating those figures. So, but he's talking about, he's talking performing. about the physical movement of the characters. Right. I agree. I, there, there, I definitely recognize who's doing certain characters, uh, you know, who's under there you get a right. sense of their their and their their timing and pacing mm -hmm. oh, let's uh, see. dr phil looks like a cross between andy dick and brian henson <laughs> that's true how'd you guys get the idea of singing bohemian rhapsody whose idea was doing bohemian rhapsody was it kirk or he, he directed it i don't know i'm not sure it may have been a pitch by Soapbox, maybe somebody, I wish I knew, I apologize. I don't, I don't know uh, who, who came up with that idea, but I think it was from Soapbox, production of the creative people there. Probably Andrew or Chris Eber at the time, maybe, or I, I, honestly, I don't know. Josh would, Hank, 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 Hankemeyer, sorry, would like to see Johnny Fiamma on Muppets now. What's the condition of Johnny these He's days? He's in good shape. You know? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah they, we talked about that with Jane too. We did, yeah. Johnny and Sal have been refurbished, so uh, hopefully, uh, it's I, possible. You know, we we couldn't do it because he wasn't ready yet, but oh, and we so, didn't really have bits for him. I'm sorry, American Autistic. Did I did I say he again? I apologize. Sorry. Oh God, sorry. Lord, a rat! I hate rats. Then today ain't your lucky day, Doc. Is that a quote from something Lauren Riccardi said? That's Bubba or something, I think. Oh, in the Dr. Phil scene? Is that right? <laughs> I think. Where did you see that? I don't see that. All right. Well, any more? Let's do one more, more question. Hour and Will a half. Jim Lewis be a guest in the future? 
You're going to have to stay tuned. Uh, I would hope so. Yeah. She's up for it. Bill, yeah. did you have have a performed, did you have a performer that you worked really well with, like Jim and Frank or Jerry? Oh, uh, Brian. Definitely Brian and Kevin. Uh, you know what? It's hard. It's interesting. Yeah, probably Brian. Brian and I, I think, probably connected, you know, our timing and our rhythms, probably. But then as you kind of start to work with people, then like Steve, like when Steve and I would do Pepe and Rizzo, <laughs> you know, that timing was great. And Pepe and Kermit, we had a lot of fun doing them together. And then Dave and I, it depends, but Dave and I, we don't, we don't usually get to, you know, we don't have characters that really kind of uh, hang out together a lot, I guess. I guess, sorry, the short answer is Brian. Henson. All right. Yeah. All right, gang. I think that's uh that was a nice way to celebrate our tenth anniversary. <laughs> let's just yeah. hey, let's see. Real quick review. Who have we had now on the show? We've had Brian Henson, we've had our cousins Gary and Nancy, Tom Bergeron, Bob Schooley and Mark McCorkle, the Blasucci family, the Dinosaurs thirtieth reunion, thirtieth anniversary reunion, Frank and Beans. Frank Oz, Frank Dave. Dave. <laughs> Frank and Dave goals. Benjamin Franklin. We got Benjamin Franklin for you. And we Jesse. The, Jesse Sorry. and John did the trivia uh, contest. We're going to have mm -hmm. another one of those, another episode of, oh, I knew that at some point. Yeah. We also thought up a really cool segment we want to do, but we're not going to mention it yet. Uh, why, why did I bring that up? But we've always got new things in mind. Uh, we're developing. We're in development. Many new segments. We had the uh, wonderful fan art uh, episode with, with Dave Holtine and Stuart Reeves, Kenny Durkin and Jamie Carroll. And then last week we had the great Danny Trejo and some surprise visits by Kermit and the Swedish chef and John Voigt and Robert Rodriguez. So it's been, it's been a fun nine episodes. And now we just had, although, <clears throat> although it wasn't intentional, we had a few guests on this episode. <laughs> yeah. Wait. But hopefully they'll come back for another. So thanks uh, for popping on, although we weren't expecting you, Matt and Peter and Leslie and Eric and Julianne. I, I hope Eric's I know okay. What he fell. I, you know, I saw a bone protruding. Uh, oh, I didn't his see that. Leg. Yeah. I, I think I made. I think I know what happened. I was, I was uh, emailing with Lolly. Yeah. And. That's not true. Lolly can't email Dean. Don't go there. That's not real. We're not, this, this, these aren't three-year-olds out here watching our show. <laughs> Lolly didn't do the email with you. She did. No. Sorry. Come on, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Lolly didn't do it. <laughs> All right. Are we done? Thank you, gang. Thank uh, you, everybody. Thanks tune for hanging in next in. week for Jane Gutnick and great Kevin Clash, the great Jane Gutnick, the great Kevin Clash. We'll Whee! see you next time on the Beretta Brothers. Two of us. Ooh, I'm supposed to put up a thing. Wait, I got like a job. What happened? <laughs> still see us yeah <laughs> wait I'll, try, I'll do the theme song uh -huh.